it is finally time that we dive back in to the moose grind here on Medved Saga as one is warning calling. I swear it's always a level two at this spot and we've had this happen a number of intros. You should be a long shot enough to bring him down. So I guess a solid start but we're well over a thousand kills at this point and I spent three or four hours yesterday just grinding moose trying to get back into it. No trophies over that, whatever that would be, a little over 100 kills, but I would like to think, with it being so long and so many kills since our last trophy, there's gotta be something just waiting around the corner. But always a good thing to get one literally during the intro, 78 scoring bronze as a level 2. Technically that could be Hall of Shame or the people we know level 1s are a thing. Now that's looking a little bit better, got a 4 and a 3 in here. This is one of the kind of more recent changes that has happened with our map. We used to only have moose on this side in the zone over here. Now we've got them sort of on both sides of this tripod and it actually makes it difficult. Just because of their placement, there's no really good way to get the moose from both herds. They're so close together that if we were to try to back up 300 meters from one herd, we'd not actually be able to see everything because of the hill. So we're going to go ahead try to get both of these. I guess we'll take the level four first. May have been late on that second shot, I don't know. And then when it comes to these guys, either we'll just sort of lob a bunch of shots at them or wait for broadside opportunities. Now in that case, we were late. May have been an intestine shot, but two hits will bring one down. And I think for the sake of tracking, because I don't know what happened with that first level three, we'll probably let the other one go. Now, obviously tripods are fantastic for reducing hunting pressure, but one thing that's tough is they actually make it so you don't know how many moose you shot when you're using them. We actually hit the level three in the heart. I did not notice that. And then we do have the vital blood back here from level four. So we got both of them and the one that we hit twice will go down. So just a matter of figuring this out. And since I don't, oh, never mind, he's laying right there. And I'm gonna say should be the first goal to hunt. I think this, especially being uneven, is the level 4 rack that sometimes can be a silver. But 195 made it by all of one point. He is our first gold, so now we have a little track mission to go on, but I'd imagine Sir 12 can help, and you know what? We have a chance to get that last bull. Typically this doesn't happen. I don't know if they normally don't come back to their zone or what, but We'll just kind of work our way out if we can get to the tripod or whatever we can do to get a good shot here. So outside of the fact that we're going to have to track the first one, that was about as ideal as this lake could go. We used to get more than four bowls here, but that's about the only two zones that get populated now. And again, as you delete zones by accident, shoot a bunch of moose, things change in these grinds, and that's just kind of the way that it is. You got to adapt to it. But not too bad. We got all four from here. This is one of the only spots that's like that, where we have multiple herds so close together that it actually is difficult to get on the moose. So I'd call that a success for this run. We'll go ahead and pick up that guy. Hang on. Oh, I guess that was his blood. So probably not going to be as optimistic as I thought. There is a little bit of blood. Might be a lengthy track. And actually just from this, we can see what happened. He was on his way back with the herd as well. But because we had the two shots, and particularly the intestine hit probably helped, he ended up dropping on the way back. So not a terribly long track, and that'll probably save us a little bit of time. So actually it may even out. We can't fast travel here, we're too close to it. If we're within about 450 meters of where the moose tend to spawn, if we then fast travel, we're risking spooking the moose off of that lake. So we're better off just running this little distance. And at least you can see the reason that I'd prefer to go to the tent. They're just in a weird spot if you run over here. We are going to have to rely on a little bit of outline, but... I mean, you seem to have disappeared. I'd say we got him. And I would say we must have got him through the heart. Kind of at the top of it, but considering that was at least a semi-blind shot, we'll take it. Well, I guess the good news is we are pretty well guaranteed to go here as long as we can make the shot. That's the biggest one that we've seen. And I don't know if that even hit. It. I guess we got him in the lung. It reacted kind of funny, but that'll work. And I think partially due to some fairly lucky shooting and not having to track that much, 
and probably also partially due to just the amount of bull moose we've seen. We're pretty quickly getting through this early part of the run. 216 score, just a little bit too far right. We could have hit the heart if we were lower, being that same alignment left and right, but all good only cost us maybe 45 seconds of tracking. And now we're on to the big lake. You know, this is the type of thing. Every now and then the game seems to do this. There's one bull moose at this entire lake. And while there's really never been that many things other than the great one whitetail that we had that have actually given me a reason to believe it, when something major changes like this, this is a spot that typically has six bulls or so, it just gives me that little bit of extra optimism every time that maybe the grind's getting a little bit boring or something like that. And we just end up diving right back in. I don't know what else to make of it, but then again, for the rest of the run, we'll be keeping our eyes open. But it does also kind of help speed us up. So another silver, but we're going to go ahead and jump down to the river now. We have just about 30 real minutes. I think it takes like 20 to run it, so we should be right about perfect. Most of the time, we'll do the river run as like the first half, and then the lakes that we just went through will be the second half. I thought maybe kind of switching it up might have more moose out on the river, just in case we were getting there early in the runs where we go here first, but if anything, it actually feels like there's less. So that level three is decent. This is going to be real tough. That may have gotten along, or it may have been just a touch too far right. Follow-up, I think, is going to be good. And in the end, because we hit him twice, we'll get two. There were some more out there. That's a spot we typically won't see him. There's a really tiny level two, but again, because of tracking, two level twos, in fact. We'll probably just let them go. But obviously, in this case, the big question is going to be how far that level four make it. I think the hunting pressure just maybe brightened up a bit, so it may have been pretty far. Well, that answers that. We're going to go ahead and call Sir 12 off that track just because he may end up running out towards these other ones a little bit more. Always a tough spot when you have to shoot through some brush for one. So we want to take that one first and then hopefully that guy was kind of starting to turn and take off. We tried to lead him just a little bit extra because of that and I don't think it worked. Sometimes I think it's going to just be easier to use the 308 because there's less recoil and faster follow-ups, but that tracking time. It's a, a tough choice either way. But go figure. We go from one track to another because I don't think that one's going to be any better than the level four that we just shot. Going to be a fairly lengthy one. And there's a couple more bulls out there. I don't want to go for the shot from here necessarily. But it may be easier. Let's get this. Because I'm worried about where we end up going back down to the river from tracking. And that second shot... We had it right just too high up. I felt like the lead was right, that makes sense. And at least if we're going for 300 meter shots, typically their reactions are a little bit slower and it's easier to get two shots in. So I think we're best off doing this and then that potentially prevents any problems when we're done tracking the others. So heart rate's good. He just kind of stepped out in the open. Let's try to get him first and then the only problem may have been he was turning a lot. Could end up being a skull hit. Looks like lungs, so we lucked out there. It just never ends. The amount of delays that we have here are ridiculous. This is a lot of wolves, too, so could be interesting. Big female there at level five. The only concern I have here is if we're close enough to any zones to end up deleting them for the moose. I don't think we should be. We're pretty far off the river, but I didn't really check the map. This has been especially lucky as far as like the wolves not moving at the time of the shot. I think as I said, the level six did, but they are starting to just kind of work their way in here close. I'm surprised they haven't gone to flee yet. That one's, there's a lot of good ones in here. I have been waiting cause we've shot a lot of wolves just while out here hunting. And I've been waiting for either a rare or like a level nine to show up. We've not had that, not even a troll nine. I think we better heal, because there's still three left. I think one's hit. That's a level two. Accidental brain shot will work. This is a level three. And then that one's going to try to get away, but I'd rather it doesn't. So can we? 
end up getting it. I think we did. And for the sake of this, I won't show harvesting all of them because they're mostly going to be the same, but I think this was the mythical. That's the main one that I'm worried about. So it's 37.99 and 70 kilo? Not too bad. And what we'll actually do is just count them up and see how many we got. And that final tally comes to 9. That's my favorite type of, like, wolf interaction in this game. When you get a huge pack, and I don't think that was two packs, I think that was just one pack with nine wolves, and they don't just flee when you shoot, like, one of them. 308 definitely comes in handy for that, too, having spoken about it earlier. But here's the thing, we still have not found that other moose. It should be somewhere down in this area. Maybe we can get Sir 12 back on the track. Actually, I lied. 10 was the total. I don't know where this one was in relation to the others, but that's pretty cool. I don't know if we ever had double-digit wolves before. And after all that, I guess one of those shots missed. Because you can see in the bottom right the tracking prey. That means that moose survived. And at this stage, we're almost at the end of moose drink time anyway. I think we're just going to have to abandon that one. We have those other two that are down, I think, directly below us here. So at least that worked out. And in the end, we ended up having one of our best packs to wolves in 308 little uh, encounters there that we've ever had. So... Happy that we at least got something out of it. Well, there's one of them. Actually, both of them were just on our way down here. 187, really wonky looking one. And I want to see just how close we came to actually hitting this one in the skull. Because it felt like we must have been really, really close. Actually, we shot underneath the skull. That worked out decently well. But we've got just a couple minutes here left of Moose String Time and... Probably a little further to go than we'd like, but we'll go as far as we can. Ooh. Man, that's gotta be a five, and it's uneven again. I don't understand why there's so many of those. 255 to 309. Like, the right side is guaranteed diamond, 280 rack, easy. The left side is like that sometimes just over 274 rack, and I'm betting combined they're not going to end up over 274. We'll see. But there's two bulls there, I think. Or actually, there's a total of four. Can we line this up right? We might be able to get them over 300 and keep these guys, like, far enough apart. Although, maybe we can't. And because we're so late, let's just worry about getting the five down. He actually just stopped drinking and went to calm. So he is going to walk away. Can we maybe scoot it and alert them? Because that angle's not that good. Actually, better yet, we have the 22 for such things. Are they close enough to just hear the shot? They are not. So, even that wasn't close enough to alert him? Maybe he's very much on a mission. This should. Unless we're hitting rocks or something? He just does not care. So I guess instead, we'll just try to... Get him as he walks through there? I feel like I don't know the range because of that, but... That should get him through the lungs, and it definitely did. Definitely could have killed more moose out of here too, but... We'll just worry about what I fear is going to be troll number 8 from this grind. So, fingers crossed, maybe the overall spread or something is enough to get us there. I'm not overly encouraged. We have not seen an uneven diamond yet, but we, wait, why is that 285? I don't understand this game. Maybe that's a different paddle on his left side than I thought. I'm not going to complain. We haven't had a diamond in, I don't know, weeks. It was the level four just up north of where we are now. And I think it was 284 or 85. Well, cool. I thought we were just going to get trolled and end up in sadness here, but I don't know if I have screenshots of trolls, but I'd like to start paying attention to that just to know what to look for on these uneven racks. Just so it's not always, you know, optimism where there's actually no chance. But I think that's going to actually be our last kill. And now we have a reason to go back to the trophy lodge. And I guess we'll go and throw them on the wall. Definitely a little more encouragement on top of the whole thing at the big lake where there was just kind of missing moose. That's crazy to see that. 
I remember taking a screenshot of something, but it might have been the level 4 diamond. I just want to start comparing and trying to understand what makes particularly the uneven racks actually make diamond, because that's all we seem to get. We've had 9 level 5s in the level 4 diamond. I think one of the 5s has actually been even. The level 4 was even, so those two made diamond, and then the uneven one there, which is 10 above the requirement, and I just don't know why, but not gonna ask questions, not gonna complain. We have our third diamond of the grind, which I think means we're now at three diamonds, seven trolls, and six rares, a whole pie ball, something like that. Been a weird grind to say the least, but hopefully that is a sign of good things to come, and hopefully we can stick to it a little bit better as we go forward. But anyway, that is gonna do it for this video, so as always, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.